Shout out to Jeff Booth. This idea of forever deflation brings abundance and therefore solves all the problems. Just at a very high level, could you talk us through why you think a pure deflationary currency without an elastic layer above would really struggle? He shows very nicely how technology can improve productivity, get goods cheaper, better, and all these things. The confusion starts when we call this deflation, because deflation is always and everywhere a monetary problem. When goods get cheaper, those prices tell us something that we can use this product more, it's a good thing. Whereas a deflation doesn't mean that the goods get cheaper, it just means that the money gets more expensive. That's the difficulty here, distinguishing between falling prices of goods because of better, cheaper production of goods or falling prices because of undersupply of money. Whenever we have monetary deflation, meaning there's not enough money for people to sell their goods, to pay their workers, those are terrible, terrible parts of the human history, 1465, with the so-called Great Bullion Crisis. Later, there were government-induced monetary deflations, like the Great Depression of the 1930s, 